Hello everyone. In this session, let us discuss a simple topic that is instruction format. What do you mean by the instruction format? Let us recall an instruction. When you talk about an instruction, you know that instruction has an opcode. Instruction has a few operands, right? The instruction is generally in this form. Initially, the instruction is going to specify an opcode followed by a few operands. Now we are talking about instruction formats. These instruction formats will talk about the number of operands that are going to be supported by an instruction in each of the CPUs. You know that there are three kinds of register organizations. One is single accumulator. Second one is general register. And the third one is stack organization. This instruction formats talks about the number of operands that can be supported by a single instruction. Let us recall the instruction format in the single accumulator organization. In the single accumulator organization, we do have a 16-bit instruction. Initially, we do have an opcode followed by an operand, right? Here, the operand will be available in the form of an address. Let us say 420. What is this? This is an address of an operand, which means that the single accumulator organization supports one operand within an instruction, right? That is, Single accumulator organization supports one operand within an instruction and the other operand is always accumulator. Accumulator is equal to accumulator plus M of 420. We are already aware of. In the single accumulator organization, second operand is always accumulator, which is called also the implicit operand or an implied operand. Generally, every time you perform an arithmetic operation, you require two operands at least minimum an arithmetic operation requires two operands in the single accumulator organization instruction supports one operand and another operand is always accumulator when it comes to the general register organization the instruction can support a maximum of three operands from two to three an instruction can support that is either an instruction contains two operands or it can also contains three operands. So it will be in the form of add R1 comma R2. It is two operand instruction. Something more is called three operand instruction in which three operands will be specified. Things are very simple. When it comes to add A, Accumulator is equal to accumulator plus A. When it comes to add A comma B, A is equal to A plus B. The initial operand acts as both source and destination operands. The second operand is, all, is, is only the source operand. When it comes to three operand instruction, the first operand acts as the destination operand. Remaining two operands are going to act as only the source operands, in which R1 is equal to R2 plus R3 will get performed. So these are the various instruction formats. The first one is one address instruction. The first instruction format is one address instructions in which instruction can contain a maximum of only one operand and a second operand is always accumulator. Second one is two address instruction in which two operands can be directly specified with an instruction such as add R1 comma R2. And the third one is three address instructions in which three operands can be specified with an instruction. For an example, add R1 comma R2 comma R3, in which the first one is the destination, remaining two are the source operands. 
there is another instruction format also is available that is zero address instruction about this zero address instruction we will discuss later but let us understand this one address instructions you can find in single accumulator organization these two address and three address instructions you can find in general register organization these zero address instructions are available in stack organization that is single accumulator organization supports one address instruction general register organization supports two address or three address instructions both sometimes the instruction can have two addresses that is two operands sometimes the instructions are supported with three addresses or three operands directly but when it comes to the stack organization it doesn't support any operand within an instruction about stack organization and the instructions within the stack we will understand in some upcoming session thank you